Good afternoon. Welcome to Clarkston High School and thank you for coming to those of you who see Clarkston High School every day. It in, is indeed a privilege to be here. We thank you that you have taken time out of your schedule to attend and we thank our uh, you Beyond members and mentors. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule to be here. This is an example of true collaboration. And when I say collaboration, I mean the ability for different groups of people to work together for a common goal. And so this started a couple of years ago where we wanted to provide community members who were established but who were familiar with our community to be able to reach back and to touch those members of the current community, our youth, and what better place than Clarkston High School. And so Ms. Shawnee Hall, our post-secondary transition specialist, was very instrumental in working with our organizations. Um, Coach ATN was very instrumental in working with um, members of our community to talk about the good things that were going on at Clarkston High School. Now I must give a shameless plug because right now, in this very moment, our Clarkston High School boys and girls cross country team are competing for the state championship in 5A. And I am waiting eagerly for them to announce that we have won that state championship for not the first time, not the second time, but for the boys the third time. And so our girls continue to advance, and this year they were third at state, and our boys were ranked first for state. So we plan today to be celebrating not just collaboration, but also a victory. But again, I want to thank everyone who is here, and I would also like to thank the Clarkson High School faculty who support all of the activities here, and we work usually seven days a week to make sure that you all have the very best. And really, listen carefully today, ask good questions, because we have brought to you the very best. And so I want to thank you, Beyond, for giving of your time, your talent, and your treasure to support the work that we're doing here at Clarkston so that you all students can be sitting where they are and reaching back to mentor future generations as well. Thank you very much. At this time, I would like to turn it over to Dr. El Rahib, Rahib to give brief introductions. And again, enjoy your day. Thank you, Principal Jones. Uh, this is really a privilege to be here. Uh, my name is Ghassan El Rahib. I, 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 recently, I became the president of You Beyond. Uh, I have been serving on their board for, for, for two years. This is my second time in Clarkson High School, and you guys really inspire all of us. Uh, it's, it's, that's really an understatement in here. Uh, several of our board members are really familiar in the school. Uh, Imad Sabah is one in here. Our mentor, basically, uh, uh, Hival uh, Kelly, basically has been working with Clarkson for, for quite some time, and he was really coming from this high school uh, back in the years. Uh, so thank you so much for being here. Uh, this is really uh, amazing uh, that on a Saturday afternoon you are here uh, to really kind of really navigate your options for the future, uh, map the, the future. So what I will be spending a couple of minutes talking about mentorship, uh, briefly from a very high level point of view, uh, and then just to some introductions about the faces that you will be interacting with throughout the day today. Uh, next slide, please. One more click. So basically, if you look at mentorship, uh, then the first elements are really you need a mentor and a mentee. And the mentee is really somebody who is really willing to really take a, an advice or, or a recommendation or seek an advice or recommendation to plan a future, uh, to, to make a decision. Uh, and then the mentor basically is a person who is really willing to share experiences to guide. And that's basically, to do that, uh, you beyond is really trying to provide the tools the ambience, the, the, the environment, so basically both the mentors and the mentee can really excel in this, in, this, in, in, in this endeavor in here. We are trying to create a community. So 
that's why basically we are really very privileged to be here because you are really kind of the, the, the core of, of today's event in here. You are the main key, and that's why we are, all of us are, 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 are here. Um, there are many misconceptions about mentorship. Um, it's, if somebody's really giving you an advice, it's not really about making you to be like him or her. Uh, if, if, if you want a specific answer from a mentor, that is not really how mentorship works. You have to be ready, basically, to be told, maybe this is a better option than that one, but you will be making a decision at the end of the day. Okay? Uh, so uh, th there is really no, um, no, no strings attached to mentorship. Uh, it, it's really somebody who is not really your, uh, your teacher who gives you a grade. It's not really somebody who's really your parent or your relative. That's where you beyond really kind of match you with, with the right mentor. And today you will interact with amazing, very well basically established mentors who are really spending the afternoon today just to provide to you uh, kind of the, the answers that you have or just to open your eyes to the, to the future. Uh, the next slide, please. Um, it, takes a, it takes a lot of work to be successful. Uh, and it really is step by step. And today you really took the first step. You are here, you are really seeking an advice, you are seeing a recommendation. Maybe some of you have some questions, specific questions that you would like to, really to, to, to ask our, our mentors or our, our board uh, members uh, in, in here. So it's really uh, it's fantastic to, to, to have you in here. Uh, so this is really a slide of having uh, the, 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 the photos of most of the, the, the You Beyond uh, board and the You Beyond mentors that you will be seeing in here. I'm missing a couple of uh, photos. Um, so if you look at the top right corner, uh, you have Dr. Omar Latouf from Emory, a surgeon and a professor, and you have Mr. Mo Mustafa, the VP at at and those are really the, the two who really co-founded You Beyond four years ago. And between the two of them, although they look very young, there is almost one century of experience uh, in, 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 in real life, basically, experiences. And both of them are really are privileged to have them here to really kind of to, 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 to work with you on, 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 on mapping your, your future. Um, we have in the middle of you, basically, there, Salma Shilbaya. She is really a CNN journalist. Uh, so she is here. She will give us, uh, at the end of the day today, an amazing, basically, uh, one of a kind. Uh, people pay money to go to such presentation uh, about, about basic communication, how to represent yourself. Uh, Michelle Kreider, you have been really hearing from her. We are really very lucky to have her as our director of operations. She's really kind of organizing all the logistics in here, and she's behind in that room, really clicking the. the I really don't have a, a photo of somebody who has been with you beyond since day one. Najah Abu Khdair, she's, she's in the back there with her uh, two sons. Uh, I don't have really, I tried to find the photo, I could not, so <laughs> we need to fix that. Um, Imad Sabah has been really kind of very big supporter of, of you beyond for, and some of you really know, uh, uh, know Imad very well. Dr. Nair Harfouch, he's a dentist. Uh, he kind of provided a lot of basically mentorship throughout Atlanta and, and the state of Georgia to students who try to figure out if they want to become a dentist or not. Uh, uh, Edward Mitchell is one of our, uh, our, our mentors. He's an attorney, an amazing public speaker, and he will be basically giving some of the breakout sessions uh, today. And at the bottom of the, of the page, basically, we have four of our mentors. Uh, those are relatively younger than the, the, the first uh, two-thirds of the, of the slide, except for Selma. Um, and basically, we have an attorney, Robert Bexley. We are lucky to have him here as a founding attorney of his firm. Uh, we have Hisham Bukhdair, emergency medicine uh, a resident. Uh, Jordan Satari, he is really an investor, a global investor, and a businessman. Uh, we are lucky to have him here. And uh, last but not really least, Abdullah Katoud, who is really a pharmacist, has been really practicing ph as a pharmacist for the last two or three years uh, now. So overall, uh, it's really another task on you in the breakout sessions to get the most out of these people. A lot of experience is in here, not enough time. So make sure you'll be proactive, ask questions, be very interactive in the broadcast session. Ask questions, don't, 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 don't be shy. That's really my recommendation uh, for you. Next slide. So the next 10, 15 minutes, uh, you have a question? Yes, go ahead. Is this where you thought you would be? Be? Was that? Sit again. I have, I, I had four or five different mentors throughout my career. And that's basically something that you have to really be, uh, uh, be aware of. Not necessarily you have to stick to one mentor. So you have more than one. And I, ha I was very, very lucky, basically, that I had four or five mentors throughout that my career until I got my PhD. Uh, so definitely is mentorship is, is a lifelong. Now I have a mentor. 
Dr. Omar Latouf, basically, uh, he has been practicing surgery for the last 30 plus years. He has a mentor too, and he is also a mentor. So it's a lifelong process. Uh, it, it doesn't really, it's not only for the young, uh, but, but you have to start early in your life. Um, so I, I'm really very privileged to, to introduce the co-founder and the chairman of the board uh, of You Beyond, uh, Moayed Mustafa, and he will be kind of giving you, share with you the, the, the long uh, experiences that he had uh, experience in, throughout his, his career. So let's give him applause, please. Well, good afternoon. So you guys are pretty special, right? Yeah. They tell me there, there are about 1,500 students in Clarkston, right? And there's probably about 50 of you here, right? So what makes you so special, right? Is just that. You're interested in your, you're interested in your development growth, right? So that is one of the biggest first steps you take for you to, to grow, right? So this is, uh, this, um, and I want to applaud you for that. You guys are on the right track. You know, I asked my daughter if she wants to come, to, to come with me this morning, and she said, uh, she said, I don't like podiums, though. You're going to cage me in this? I, I, I move. I move my hands and stuff, right? So, uh, so you'll see some of those things, you know. <laughs> But, you know, she said it was 10 o'clock. I mean, I was, she told me what time it was. I said, well, you got to get up at 7. I, she said, no, no. <laughs> I want to sleep, right? So you guys are, are, are amazing that you actually showed up for this event. Um, so I applaud you for that. What color are these pants? Okay, so I got a story to tell you about that. So um, this is my story. And there are 10 things that I learned as I took this journey that brought me up to this point in time. I am a vice president of at and I have a had managed budget to $4 billion, that's with a B. If I say it, I guess fast enough, it, it makes it you know small budget, right? With a B, I have about 5,000 technicians that work in my organization. I do all of the video and broadband, all the way from your, you know, the gigapower fiber, the stuff that you see in your neighborhoods. We do that. We do the cell phones and all of the stuff that you guys use of at and I'm the operations guy for that, right? Now, if you're not a customer of at and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a conversation with you after this talk, but, but, uh, but, uh, um, you know, we have direct TV and so on and so forth. So that's, a, that's what I do for a living, right? I also have a passion about sharing my experiences with young folks like that. I wish I had somebody like that that actually paid it forward for me and drug me along as they were on their way up. I did have mentors along the way, but I never had this opportunity when I was your age. So if we go to the next slide, this is me in the middle. I was, uh, I was born in Kuwait to Palestinian parents. I have never got out of Kuwait till I came to the United States. So at the age of 17, I've never been on a plane. I got on a plane and got from that picture to the right, that's Kuwait. Do you see a tree? No. There are no trees there, <laughs> right? So I got on this plane it's Kuwait Airline to London. I've never been on a plane before. Never been on a plane before. I didn't know what to expect. So I had to change planes and then 11 hours later on this other plane, Pan Am, and this is no longer in business, right? Got me all the way to Seattle, Washington. Now I get out of that plane. Now my last image is that picture to the right, up and to the right. That was my last image of the world. I get out of that plane and I see what? I see that, that you know, the, the, look at that. And I thought, well, I, I, this must be what they talk about when they talk about heaven. <laughs> this, it's got to be heaven right there, <laughs> right? So hell, heaven, right? I mean, I, <laughs> so that, that kind of put it into perspective for me. See, I walk into an area where it's just not just different, it's really different. I mean, everything looked different. Green, well, I've never seen a green, the trees. <laughs> and I, I come in, and, and this, is, this is me in the middle. So if we go to the next slide... There are, there are 10 things that kind of, the lessons that I picked up in my life that worked for me. There is a story behind each one. I don't have enough time to go through that, but I'll be happy to, 
to talk to some of these stories in our mentorship session, uh, in our breakout session. So the first one is you can't aim high, I mean, you can't aim low and expect, expect high results. You gotta, you gotta aim high. You gotta have big, hairy, big, audacious goals to go after. Challenge yourself, right? And I had those experiences where, you know, there are a lot of folks that, you know, they will tell you, well, you know, why bother with school? Why don't you just be a waiter? Right? Why don't you be a chef? Why don't you be this? There's nothing wrong with that, right? But what are you set your eyes on, right? What are the big goals you want to go after? They've got to be realistic, right? But there's really, you'll see the rest of this story as it flows. That was my kind of guiding compass. I always set high goals. I, and I put it, for, you know, if anybody can do it, I'm going to do it, right? Right? So set high, big goals. Let's go to the next slide. So usually I actually give money on this slide, right? So how many people actually watch The Wizard of Oz? Or the Oz movie, right? So who was the, uh, the, the, the character that didn't have a brain? Scarecrow, I don't have enough money to, to give all the right answers, because that's the right answer, right? So what's the, what's the, uh, what's the, the one that didn't have a heart? Tin man. Tin man, right? And the one that didn't have a... Scarecrow. That didn't have a heart, uh, that, didn't have a, uh, that, didn't ha that didn't have guts, I guess. That was, that was afraid, right? The coward was what? The lion, right? So I have this model that I live by. I kind of actually change these characters to say, in order for you to have good leadership and succeed as such, you have to have the head, the heart, and the guts. You don't have to be the smartest person in the room to be, to be successful. You don't have to be, right? But you have to have enough good critical thinking skills for you to be successful. You don't have to... The other thing that you have to have, you have to have a passion about what you're going to do. If you don't have the passion about what you want to do, it's kind of, you know, and you have to like people. You have to actually care about people, right? That's the heart piece. And then the guts, you have to make some tough decisions. What is tough decisions? There are a lot of decisions you make day in and day out. You can take the easy way out and you can make the tough ones, right? You made a tough decision by coming in today. So that's why I said I applaud you for that. Let's go to the next slide. How many people played Scrabble? Good, good, good. Is it online? Is it, a, is it an app? I, I didn't keep up with that. But you know, when you put quit on the board, you get a lot of points, right? With a Q, right? It's got a lot of points. But quit, quit is only for Scrabble. It's not for real life. You can't quit. You can't sit on the nail. You got to come back at it. If life dishes you stuff, you got to come back at it. You can't quit. And by the way, what I'm describing to you so far is what worked for me. Different things may work for you, but those are the 10 lessons that I picked up on as I went through my journey. You just don't quit, right? And quit is only for Scrabble, not for real life. So take, keep that in mind. We go to the next slide. This is something that worked for me. So I'm going to stop here and tell you the story about the yellow pants. Because your vocabulary matter. People actually determine your level of intelligence by how you speak. I didn't make up the rules. That's just the way it is. Right? So I come here at 17 years old and I've never been outside of Kuwait. You saw the picture. And I only knew that I'm supposed to get out of the plane, get in a taxi, had a couple of nickels in my pocket, right, to make phone calls to the school where I'm going so that they can come pick me up from downtown Seattle. 
So I managed to do all of that and get to the hotel and I put this nickel, and it was nickel at the time, right? That's not, I mean, you, we don't even have pay phones these days, right? So I, put, I managed to put a nickel and I called Seattle University and I said, I'm here, come pick me up. So for me to go to the dorm, where, where, you know, the school. So they asked me a question. She said, so what, what are you wearing? I said, yellow pants. Silence at the other side of the, you know, the phone. It says, you're wearing what? I said, yellow pants. I said, okay, we'll be right there. So I sit there for two hours, three hours, waiting on these guys to come pick me up. And then I decided, well, they're not here. I better call again. So I put another nickel in there and call. I say, hey, no, nobody came to pick me up. When are you guys going to show up? He says, well, the guy has been there but couldn't find you. Why don't you take your stuff outside and wait? And this is downtown Seattle. I mean, it's a 17-year-old kid in downtown Seattle. It's, you're really looking for trouble. It was about to get dark. So I'm here with my bags standing outside, and these, this guy comes in and says, you know, after I see him c going around the block, right? So finally he just decided to come and ask this kid, you know, what, are you waiting for Seattle University pickup? And I said, yes. He said, so what color are these pants? I said, yellow. He said, no, they're not. They're blue. <laughs> and this is the guy who was supposed to evaluate me where to put me in the English level. <laughs> so suffice to say, right, I, he put me like the first level. There are 10 levels. They put me like at the bottom. It's like, he can't speak English, man. So, so I tell people, you know, here's a kid that came here, didn't know yellow from blue. I'm not colorblind, by the way. I actually know the difference between yellow. I didn't know the difference between blue and yellow. So what's your excuse? Your vocabulary matter is what reminded me of that story. Your vocabulary matter. People actually look for the way you speak. They determine your intelligence by the way you speak. I didn't make up the rules. That's just the way it is. So your vocabulary matter. I, I actually live by, and I, t I share this with all the kids that I actually talk to, performance or success is equal to your ability times your motivation or desire times your supp the support you get. I don't care how smart you are, if you don't have passion for what you want to do, you're not going to be successful. If you're smart and passionate, but people don't give you the support you need, that's where mentorship comes in, or money, or cars, or tools, or whatever. If you don't have that support, I don't care how good and smart and passionate you are, you're not going to succeed. All three must exist in order for you to be successful. Right? And it's a multiplier. Any one of these zero, you get a zero success. So think about those performance, ability, desire, or motivation, and the support. And you got to get all three in order for you to be successful. Let's go to the next slide. Surround yourself with tens. That's tens meaning 10 out of 10. 10 score 10, meaning, you know, show me who your friends are and I'll show you if you're going to be successful. If you surround yourself with twos and threes and fours, you're going to get two or three or four type of surroundings. Surround yourself with the best. And if you show me who your friends are, I can pretty much tell you if you're going to be successful or not. Let's go to the next slide. Get a mentor. We talked about that uh, already. Let's go to the next slide, Michelle. Your reputation matters. This is really what makes, makes us or breaks us most of the time. Your reputation matters. What are you known for? What are you known for? What's your brand? What are you known for? You've got to be known for something, right? You've got to have some kind of a brand that makes you special, right? You can't be just another face in the crowd. What are you known for? Let's go to the next slide. Be ethical and have integrity. I have, I have seen people that if they don't live by this, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but can't, you can't fool people all the time. If you're unethical, if you don't have the sense of integrity, you might as well fold it because you're on the wrong track. You're on the wrong track, right? But this is very critical for your success, and that's what worked for me also. Let's go to the next slide, please. Use your ethnicity as a strength. 
you know, the, we have uh, Friedman, which is the, the futurist and so on. He, he comes and talks to us, uh, uh, you know, in, at AT&T. And he says, he tells us, think like an immigrant. Now, why does he say that? Why is, why is he saying, think like an immigrant? Because immigrants, just like me, coming from that environment, seeing a different environment, it's just like you get reset. Everything is weird. You're questioning everything. Your creativity actually kicks in high gear. So your ethnicity, your background, use it as a strength. Don't say that that's a handicap for me. It's actually a, a strength for you. It's, it depends on how you use it. So the last slide, I'll just leave you with this. If you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you'll be successful. But you gotta, you gotta want it, and you gotta want it real bad, okay? Those are the 10 things that I used. These are the things that made, got me where I got, right? So I hope these kind of uh, help you out. So thanks a lot for listening, and I'll be looking forward to talking to you. Thank you all for being here. Again, as Ghassan had introduced me, I'm Michelle Kreider, and I've communicated with most of you, and I will be doing so again next week with a follow-up evaluation. So I hope you'll give your honest feedback, but more about that later. What's up for the rest of the day? We're going on to the breakout sessions next. Because we're a little bit short on time, we're gonna switch those breakouts to 15 minutes each. So have your questions prepared. Get ready to talk to your mentors in those groups. So the only change we have from your paper program with the listing of the breakouts and the room numbers, the law workshop is gonna meet in room 27 instead of the ROTC room, but all of the rest of the rooms are correct. So STEM is gonna stay here in the auditorium. So what will happen is as soon as everybody gets in place, we'll meet for 15 minutes, and then the mentors will stop and allow you to change to the next breakout session. So have the ones you prefer in mind and get ready to switch. And then after 30 minutes of two different workshops, we'll come back to the auditorium for our next presentation. Any questions? Okay, let's go.